bureaucracy, against the county's failed political leadership, and now against the region's most powerful media voice to do what's right for families. And he hopes that today's forum will be one step towards challenging those at DCFS who are getting it wrong and helping those on the front lines who want to get it right. I want to now quickly bring up Sabrine, which in the couple of minutes we have left will tell you a little bit about her story. She's the grandmother uh, raising the grandchild that Linda's holding over there. Thank you, Sabrine. Thank you. My name is Sabrine. I am, 50, I am a 56-year-old grandmother struggling to care for my now 11-month-old granddaughter and obtain all rights due to me that have been violated. I am also a member of the organized group DCFS, Give Us Back Our Children. If anyone is aware of the need for welfare reform, it is me. A disabled mother forced to raise eight children on welfare and the traumatic effects it had on me and my children. It is my opinion that the welfare system is broken. Another institution that has failed those who depend on it for survival. We must start with public awareness, discarding all the old stereotypes about welfare mothers, such as they are lazy, mindless, abusive women, lacking morals or inspiration for themselves or their children. New laws for welfare reform must be passed, and there is a need for change within the welfare administration, including DCFS where removing poor children from their homes has become the norm. Through the DCFS, adoptions have become more frequent amongst the poor. Economical racism exists at the core of the welfare system, and it must be demolished in order to work. Poor families are underrated and have been treated with indifference for too long. Love, history, and unity means just as much to those who live in poverty. I know as a grandmother what it means to live in constant fear that the child that has depended on you since birth for love may be suddenly taken out of your care. Our children are our legacy. No one deserves them in our life more than us. Since August 2009, many visits by the DCFS social workers have been made telling me this or that needs to be done and always promising me cash aid. I've done what they asked, which has used up my very limited income, but no cash aid to date has ever been given to me. I've signed papers under duress, not given time to, time to read them, and then not provided with the copy of the papers I signed. Although the supervisor promised to send them to me, I haven't been able to get cash aid through DCFS and DPFS has been denied me. Welcome. Okay. We are we are out